This could be your PC. Aesthetic, unique and perfectly matched to your gaming setup. Plus it makes interacting with your system more intuitive and efficient. For this video we've spent countless hours bringing you 4 incredible tools to transform your PC from a boring shell into something truly amazing. From animated wallpapers and a slick macOS style top bar that doubles as a quick launch hub to a custom Overwatch mouse cursor, you'll even get audio reactive visualizers that pulse to your game's soundtrack. In our step-by-step -step guide, we'll show you exactly how to install and configure each utility. Whether you're gaming or just want a sleek dashboard for your PC, this setup gives you total control over your Windows machine. By the way, we're unknown tech and we've covered tons of content like this, so you're in good hands. All of the links in this video are in the description, but if you want a place where they are all organized in one place, please go check out our website. Link is in the description. Alright, let's dive in. Now in this first step, we are going to install Windhawk. This application will transform your taskbar to look really nice like this. Start by clicking on the first link in the video description to get to the official Windhawk website. In here, go ahead and click on the blue download button. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and execute the file. After doing that, the setup process starts. I don't want to bore you with this and it's actually really simple. Just click through all of the steps and confirm them with yes and you're good to go. Now that it's finished downloading, go ahead and click on browse for mods and search for a mod called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Go into details and in there you can simply click on install right here. Now you just have to accept the risks and wait for it to finish. Don't worry, the tool is safe to use and has been tested by us. Now that it's downloaded, go ahead and activate it and click on details again. In here, go into settings and select the theme called Squircle. Now that it's activated, you have this absolutely stunning and minimalistic taskbar right here. But stay tuned for the next step because this will change the whole look of the setup, the wallpaper. For this setup, we are going to go with some very nice animated wallpapers like this. Start by going into Steam and buying Wallpaper Engine. And before you shut off already thinking, man, why is this setup not free? Chill out and wait. I will also show you a free alternative. Once you are in Wallpaper Engine, go ahead and click on Workshop in the top so you can search for the wallpaper called Chill Gaming. This is it right here. Simply double click on it to activate it. I think this wallpaper gives your whole setup a completely new personality that absolutely gives retro gaming vibes. But for those of you waiting patiently for the free version, here is your reward. Go ahead and open up your Microsoft Store to download the free version which is called Lively Wallpaper. And once again, please don't run to the comments to complain about how bad the Microsoft Store is. You can also simply download it online, but this way, it's way easier. Now that the Lively application is downloaded, simply go ahead and double click on the wallpaper called Living Room to activate it. Let's face it, this wallpaper is also a great and minimalistic free alternative to the Wallpaper Engine one. But now let's continue with the next step of this tutorial. Now we are going to install an application called RainMeter. Once again, start by opening up the link in the video description or on the website. Click on the download button and follow through the setup after executing the file. RainMeter is actually the cornerstone to all of the next three plugins we are going to install now. Starting with DropTop 4. This plugin not only looks good but is also functional as you can see right here. Click on the link to DropTop and once again simply download the plugin by clicking on the big green download button. In this window, select the basic version. And in the next pop-up, click on I have it already since we just installed RainMeter. Now just click on the downloaded file and execute it to get the drop top menu. In this installation menu, go ahead and just click on install. Now the app launched and we can click through the setup of it. First select your preferred language right here. In the next step, we are going to choose the option all the way to the left. And right here, just on continue. In this next setup step, you just want to click on macro sequoia. But it doesn't really matter though because we will install a new theme anyways. Now just click on maybe later and finish setup and we're done. That's what the drop top menu looks like right now. It already gives the setup a new touch, but I will show you how to make it look even better by adding in a theme. Go ahead and click on the link to the community themes on our website. In here, go ahead and scroll down a bit until you find a theme called Cat Puchin Macchiato. When you found it, click on download. If you once again simply click on the downloaded file, you can execute it and add in the theme. Now you have this absolutely stunning and retro-like theme which lets the whole setup look a bit more like a gaming setup. You can even go ahead and change the drop top logo to basically anything you want. Just click on the drop top 4 logo in the top left corner so this menu unfolds. In here, go ahead and hover over the point called set home icon. And in here, you can choose between product logos, creatures and so on. I decided to go with the dolphin right here. But that's not the only cool thing drop top can do. You also have the possibility to add in shortcuts to apps. Let me show you. Once again, click on the link to the drop top 4 themes website and click on the search symbol in the top right corner to search for ChatGPT. Now that you found it, you can once again simply go ahead and download it and execute the file like all of the times before. When the app is downloaded, it asks you which spot you want to use for ChatGPT. And I went for the daily quotes because I don't think I'm going to need that. Now you can see that we have the ChatGPT plugin here in the top. If you click on it, it opens a new chat, which I oftentimes found to be quite practical. But that obviously isn't the only app you can add in. You can also add in a Discord plugin so that you can easily stay updated with our Discord. 
If you are interested, there is a link in the video description. But now let's continue with the customization. The next step is downloading Jaxcore for a beautiful music visualizer and clock. Start by opening up the link to Jaxcore and click on the big orange download button. Now that it's downloaded, you have to execute this .bat file. Then this PowerShell window should open up. In here, you just have to confirm the download once by typing Y. At first, just select Get Started. After that, on Continue. In this first real step, you want to choose Hardware Acceleration. The next steps are just clicking on Continue. Once you see this window right here, deselect these two options since we won't need them for this setup. Now the installation process is finished and this window should have opened up. In there, you want to go ahead and go into the library down here. In this section, we are going to start with the Modular Visualizer plugin by simply clicking on it. On this page, go ahead and click on the green download button and wait for the download to finish. Once it's done, we are going to go into the layout setting on the left side of the screen right here. For the layout, we are going to go for this one on the bottom right here. After that, go into the appearance settings on the left side of the screen. In here, deactivate the green toggle so that we can adjust the color combinations. For the color all the way to the right, we are going to start with 150, 100, 150. For the color in the middle, 170, 60, 170. And finally, for the one all the way to the left, 180, 20, 180. Now that we are done with this, you want to open up the left side again and activate the toggle all the way at the top. Now you can go back to your home screen and drag the visualizer behind your taskbar like shown in the video right here. If you did that, you can start playing some music and watch the visualizer dance to the music. Honestly, a really nice tweak to your setup. But now let's continue with the clock on the home screen. Go back to the library in Jaxcore and click on modular clocks. In there, also click on the green download button and wait for it to finish. When it's downloaded, go into the general settings on the left side of the screen. In here, scroll down a bit until you find all of the designs. For this video, we are going to select the one all the way in the bottom right corner. After doing that, don't forget to activate the clock on the left side of the screen just like before. Now close Jaxcore and drag the clock to the middle of the screen like here in the video. Now we can admire the setup real quick. I have to say that this way it already is pretty clean, but we are still missing two small adjustments. The first one is a quite cool music player. First up, click on the link in the website to the music player and download it from there. After doing that, we are going to follow the same old process as before. Execute the downloaded file and click on install. After doing that, this program needs an extra step. Start by opening RainMeter in the bottom left of your Windows taskbar. In here, unfold the folder called Square Player. After doing that, right click on the file, Square Players 4.ini and click on load. Now back on your home screen, this music player should have loaded. Also drag it down, but this time we are going to put it just above the taskbar like this. Now we have this aesthetic and functional music player at the bottom right here. We are almost finished with the setup, we are only missing one small adjustment. The Overwatch cursor. One last time, go to the link to the mouse cursor on our website or the video description and download it. After downloading it, open up your Windows File Explorer and right click the downloaded file so you can select Extract All. Now this extracted folder should have opened up. In here search for a file called Install. Right click on this file and select Install. After doing that, the mouse property settings should have opened up. Unfold the option called Schemes. In there select the Overwatch pointer. And after that you also have to click on OK to save the settings. Now you have this really cool Overwatch mouse cursor. It not only has this function, but it also has this very unique loading animation just like in Overwatch. All right, that was the full customization. We installed Windhawk to give the taskbar a clean, custom look, added a crisp new wallpaper, a smooth music visualizer, and even brought in the Overwatch mouse cursor for that extra flair. If you're still here, I'd really appreciate a like and a sub. It helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to keep these builds coming. Got ideas for what I should do next? Drop them in the comments. I'm always down to try something new. If you want to go through everything step by step again, check out the website. Or if you need help or want to share your own setup, join the Discord. It's a chill place to hang and ask questions. I also post previews and updates over on Instagram if you're into that. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay sober and peace out.